Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the United States in our Democracy Edition of Hoi 4, as we will probably watch Germany take over Czechoslovakia in this video. So, not much has changed between this episode and the last. However, I have made a new army group under Omar Bradley, and I have made sure that... Wow, these guys all have the same color. That's not good. That's alright. So we're going to continue making more army units. Uh, we got a lot of pilots doing some exercises. We have a lot of carrier naval bombers. Honestly, I'm going to get rid of these types of planes when we're when we're, when we're ready to go to war. These carrier fighters, are, I don't think they're as good as regular fighters. Uh, okay, they won't let me know. Alright, so anyways. Carrier fighters have a little under 300 max speed, and that's a range. What about regular fighters? They have more speed and definitely more range. This is the regular fighter air defense, air attack, and agility compared to the carrier fighters, which has 8, 9, 4, 8. So it's about the same for attack, defense, and agility. Here's priority, air attack, naval targeting. And this is the carrier fighters. Now we're going to the regular fighters. 1, 2, 12, 1, 2. This has less naval attack. So that's interesting. So ultimately, carrier fighters are just inferior when it comes to max, speed, and range. That's really the key difference. I didn't know what it was, so... Oh well. Alright, so... I haven't explained everything about naval tech just yet. I've explained a lot about of it. Explained a, explained a lot of it, but not all of it. And I'm not going to explain the last part because I personally haven't done this yet. However, uh, just choose like this. So, here's something else I did between this episode and the last. I have taken from our main force here, our main strike force, a few units, mostly just destroyers and two battleships, two old battleships, and added them to the Asiatic fleet. So we got two battleships, ten destroyers, and the second wing here, just because eventually I will phase this group out to become much more decentralized but powerful. What I'm talking about here is one fleet, I guess technically just one task force, I should be more specific with my names, this task force has 4 carriers, 10 battleships, 3 heavy cruisers, 10 light cruisers, and 17 destroyers. I will decentralize it by breaking it up into more task forces that will still continue to be a strike force, but kind of decentralize some more of the power. Um, 10 battleships is obviously a little bit too much, especially compared to the number of carriers we have, and the battleships themselves, as well as screens and heavy cruisers, just aren't that great. So eventually I will phase these guys out, but for the meantime, this is still a pretty good task force in my opinion. Now I've also heard regarding... Oh, what is this? Not... Oh, Yugoslavia. You're not paying your licenses? Well, I will give you until February to pay your licenses. Because if you're not, you're not lending civilian factories for paid licenses. I'll give you until February, and if you can't pay me until then... You, um, you're gonna lose them. Well, I've given you four days. And you're okay. See? I I just had to wait. I didn't have to be like, you can't pay me instantly. No. You don't get my plane licenses. But they, they paid. It's the 1st of February. But if that happens again, Yugoslavia, I'm gonna have to cancel it. You gotta keep paying me if you want those that license. Alright, it is 1939, everyone. Uh, let's see, we get a little bonus, because we have a little bonus to ex construction, or really extraction, because we are in the U.S., USSR Economic Cooperation thingamabob. And honestly, we need more steel, so we also need medium tanks, so I'm going to do that, even though we do need a little bit more steel, which actually, you know what, I'm going to go buy a little bit more steel. I'm going to give it to the Soviets, because... They may need a little bit more help, and you know what, we'll do the same thing with this. I I have heard that the AI for the Axis is very strong now. Partially because of their subs. Oh, and then they cancelled immediately. Alright, so be it. But because the subs are so powerful and the Allies AI doesn't really know what to do apparently, or, or so what I've been told, uh, yeah, the subs will just wreck all of the Allies' convoys, UK can't build any more ships can't get any oil in, as well as France when they get taken over, and a representative speaks passionately in support of the government, and I get 25 more representatives. Very nice, and if I sound a little stuffy, it is 
It's mostly because I kind of am. Yeah, my nose is a little stuffy. I'm not sick, but regardless, that's still okay. Hungry. It's February. We need a lot more guns, and honestly, I need a lot more artillery pieces because I want to make at least seven to combat with divisions. Now, we are trying to produce some military factories, some naval dockyards, and of course, some more civilian factories, but, you know, we need, we need more production of stuff. And we currently are trying to develop War Plan Green. With Mexico in a state, constant state of instability following the revolution, we must be prepared to intervene decisively. And Senate interposed for government proposal. We got a lot of Senate support. This is democratic, I guess? Seems a little too easy. There have been complaints, though, about the democracy system using, or really, c Congress. It's just a little too basic, a little too simple, like there's no real penalties for having the House of Representatives as well as the Senate. I mean, you need them for both sides, but other than that, it's not really engaging very much. There's not like penalties, there's not like benefits too much for you to really pay attention or care about the House of Representatives or Senators, which honestly kind of sounds like real life. Anyways, we're going to go with the next cannon or the 105mm M101A1. Gotta love our naming system. How's this going? Looking alright. Uh, you guys are the sub. You're doing a great job grinding out tons of naval XP. Holy cow. I should really focus on more naval parts. Not units, but naval parts so I can upgrade those ships. Actually, you know, I'd probably do this every single game. I just want to double check. Squeezing destroyer holes. Destroyer holes. And you are doing good. You want your destroyers always to be in a state of able to just murder subs. Just straight up murder them all. Oh. Oh, we can get this. Better sub detection. Yeah, that's actually... We definitely want that. Can we get better torpedoes? No, not yet. That's okay. Hold to... Actually, since you're here, and you haven't produced that many, we'll do that. Carriers. We actually finished one of our carriers that's in our main strike force now, which is very nice. Uh, let's see, I, I think, I believe, let's see, it's this guy, Battleships, Battle Force. I've already decided to put the next carrier into one of these groups, so that'll be good. So that way, the patrols will have a carrier on hand, on deck, ready to go, if needed. And we got enough political power to maybe do something here. I want a nation build in the Philippines, they're not very important to me at the moment. Want more factories? What 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 is Germany focusing on? Beta Czechoslovakia. That makes sense. UK is doing and prepare for the inevitable, and France is doing colonial factories. A lot of communists here. A lot of commies. It's a lot of manpower. What's Italy doing? Albanian occupation. Hopefully Poland is doing fortified areas. That's not too bad. What's the Soviets up to? Ooh, what country in the Beta Czechoslovakia? All right, so much for peace. The Soviets are up to nothing, even though they are 10% democratic. Alright, so be it. War Plan Green is done. So, does that give me a decision? Execute War Plan Green. So, for this, we have to be at war with Mexico to do this. And for 180 days, we get more infrastructure construction speed, and Mexico, Mexico gets more attack and defense bonuses against us. Or really, any country. Oh, we can expand steelworks in Ohio. I need more stuff like this. Uh... It really doesn't matter which one we do. I'll do Indiana first. Interesting. So we can't actually go to war with them. Real politic. Politique? Huh. Where is that? Oh. Can create their own faction. Interesting. Support Spain's loyalists. Flankist veterans. Hispanic alliance. Good, you're not doing that. Bolivarian alliance. Smash the bureaucrats. One world government. Liberate the Antilles. Also, defensive plan and by Brazil. Propaganda act. So, they're pretty much staying democratic. As far as we know. March southward. They actually might not be democratic. Well, I guess they could be democratic and try to annex other parts of Central America. But that's okay. Alright, so what are we doing? I don't want to end monarchism. The Manhattan Project's nice. Sounds nice. Oh, wait. We can do this. The giant awakes and military construction. We get five military factories and a bunch more infrastructure in random parts of the country. U.S. Ace, US Ace 
projects, more military factories, and more infrastructure, the giant awakes, which would convert us to civilian economy, which would be awesome, and then wartime industry, which gives us a little bit more conversion, and industrial speed and industrial concern, which is kind of useless to me at this time. Uh, Voter Registration Act. No. Oh. Well, I mean, shouldn't all your voters be registered? But whatever. Uh, empower the Huac. Extend the Chinese Exclusion Acts. Uh, actually, we can do this, but we need America first. But we need, um, reestablish a gold standard, which we cannot do. So these are all locked out. Uh, we could do War Plan Gray. Hemisphere Defense. We must first and foremost look to our own neighborhood. I want to do the giant awakes because I need more military, civilian and military factories. Because right now we are currently on undisturbed isolation, which really hurts our output and the construction speed of our stuff. Holy crap. And then, Lindley's tension limit cannot remove. Alright, well, so be it. Well, Germany is looking kind of thick, and Italy just got Albania because no one gives a shit about Albania. Uh, good. We always want to produce some military factories going at the same time. But once we get to civilian economy, or, yeah, civilian economy, we'll get 50% more consumer goods, and the speed of which we can create those factories will go up by 20 freaking percent. So that's really good. And actually, it might be beneficial to go ahead and build a radar here, just because this isn't penalized, I believe. So we might as well do that. Let's get some radar in the Pacific first, anyways. Uh, you go up top. And, yeah, whatever. I just want to build these really quickly. Ooh. Concentrated industry, so we can produce more. I have more things coming out of our factories faster. Uh, might be good to do it down here. Uh, actually, how, how big is this range for radar? Oh, we can't really know. Yeah, that's actually pretty small. It's very, very small. Whatever. We'll produce the radars. Once we get to civilian uh, economy, we'll be we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. And we need to produce some M1 Thompsons. Even though those are, like, founded in the 20s, I believe. Late 20s, early 30s. The Tommy gun was already there, so... It seems kind of odd that M1 Thompson would be 1939, but regardless... I don't know my gun history that well. All I know is that the 1911 came out probably around 1911. House Committee supports presidential policy. Sure, yeah, that's great. 50 more representatives, up to 50 more representatives, I should add. Great. Well, we got 1.35. I don't need that many more senators to support me, but let's do it anyway so we get more health support and we got better radar. Okay, then. Enables mechanical range keeper. Well, what can we do for naval stuff. Uh, we're doing well on our land doctrine, we're doing well on artillery, armor, support companies can wait, we're doing well on guns, we can wait for that, air doctrine needs some work, this needs some work, as well as this could use a little bit more work, I could use some more extraction, but I really want to finish up the floating airfield. I think that would be good. Oh, advanced machine tools. Oh, alright, let's actually naval tech. I want to do naval tech. It's almost 1940. We could get this first. Uh, we really have the best equipment possible so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. And honestly, this stuff you can do during when you're at wartime. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more extraction of resources because we are lacking steel. Maybe the battleship here. Very nice. nice. M105, M121. We've got those cannons now. These bigger cannons, better cannons. Engineering, uh, improved fire control systems. Oh, this is almost pointless for me to make just because I'm not even going to use them because the reliability is just so bad. I want to say this is a bug just because the reliability goes, gets worse and worse. I mean, I understand if technology is brand new and you haven't really tested it, it very much, but the reliability shouldn't just keep going further and further down. Uh, 1939 stuff, conversion is okay. What? More extraction, because because why not? Let's see. Yeah, we need better artillery. We we'll definitely need more and more military factories for planes. All sorts of different types of planes. 
Uh, you can probably come up to this level. We need more naval dockyards. But Jesus, we need we definitely need to get to civilian economy as fast as possible. Yeah, giant wakes. And we don't lose any opposition or anything. Like Ooh, and Senator retired, so we get, I guess, technically more opposition. But that, I'm not really concerned. If I have over 80% of the entire Senate support, I'm not very concerned about it. Alright, at this point, I just don't have enough factories for me to say, hey, I want 72 infantry divisions, or 40 width infantry divisions. Uh, we don't have that. We must keep doing this. Screw it. Uh, let's see. Pacific. Oh, what's this doing? They're not training? You should go ahead and train. Even though you're probably all maxed out. Uh, go ahead and repair. Oh! Italy? Italy? Is this a personal union you're doing? This is another bug that I've encountered as well, or other people have encountered. Italy joins the German Reich, so it sounds like a personal union from Europa Universalis 4, but whatever. The giant awakes, so now we're on civilian economy. Better. Better, yes, I like this. We can produce factories so much faster, hopefully. Now, oh! Now we are going to wait until we get to partial mobilization for our political power. Wartime industry, eh. Industrial research speed, factory output is not bad. Military or military construction would be good. We get more military factories, but I kind of want to do Hemisphere Defense Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance. So that way, if people try to attack us, we will be prepared. And of course, we still have time before things really go south. I'm going to do two Ocean Navy Act, because we can get more dockers, which we really need right now to build up a bigger navy. We'll lose a little bit of congressional support, but we have enough for now that by doing this now, we can build up more congressional support in the future as we do other foci that don't require it. So that'll be good. Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. So, is this a personal union? Not quite. That's okay. Oh! We've lost some more stockpile of that. Alright, whatever. Uh, good. We have medium tanks, which I should really start producing. Uh, we can't do these. I've heard that these actual amphibious tank battalions are extremely good. Like, I was watching some of Feedback Gaming's uh, channel, and he was using some, and he's like, these are the new space points. They are so freaking good, it's not even funny. Uh, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a super heavy battleship pull. Oh, look at that super heavy battleship pull. Let's just move this battleship. Cool. Let's do that because we can. Too bad we can't use any naval XP to... Oh my gosh, that's so much. Alright then, so be it. Uh, how's our kind of reserve fleet looking? So, we've got a... Two light cruisers, 12 destroyers, and one heavy cruiser. That's not bad. I think that's big enough for me to go ahead and push out to the Asiatic fleet. So we're going to uh, select all. Oh, so we're going to select all of these guys. There we go. And, actually, uh, I don't want all these destroyers. Leave two destroyers here. You know what? Leave... We're taking eight destroyers, and we're going to leave one light cruiser. And I want them to create a new task force. Why? Uh, actually, whoops, I left out too many. Hold on. We're going to take out this, and one, two, three, four, five. So that creates one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, and then seven destroyers. That's more than enough screens, hopefully for... The Asiatic fleet, which I'm going to add to him, which is, uh, it should be over here, and then under him. What is this? Reserve fleets for this theater. Well, I don't want you to be a reserve. Um, let's see. Asiatic, Attic fleet three. Oh, reserve fleet? No, I don't want you to be a reserve fleet. Yeah, there you go. Even though this will be the smallest one of the group, uh, it's still not that bad. It's really not that bad, especially compared to everything else that we have here, like level 1 destroyers, light cruisers. These are level 2 destroyers and a level 2 light cruiser and level 2 heavy cruiser. So we did add a capital ship in here, so which is kind of nice. So you go ahead and train as well. Grant out quite a bit more naval XP. 
and we're still here with five destroyers and a light cruiser, which will continue to make a very large Pacific patrolling fleet. So, that would be very nice. And yes, you could have a reserve fleet just in case some ships get attacked, but that's why I'm going to have a lot of task forces that are on an automatic uh, redeploying, or whatever it's called. Yeah, automatic split off. I don't mind doing that now if we have so many different task forces in the area operating. So that's not too bad. Uh, why are you operating here? I guess technically you're based over there. I don't want to lose these guys. Um, move to the naval base there. I'm not sure exactly how, though, which dockyards are represented to be the ones where people repair. Luzon, see, ships that are being repaired in another allies naval base will use their dockyards for repairs. Zero ships there. Why do they choose New England, Virginia, North Carolina, and Guam? Right click to pan the naval base, click to toggle the list of ships repairing. I'm not exactly sure, I mean, I just maybe increase the number of naval bases that there are in a certain place that might help for where your ships can repair, but then again, I don't really know, and I'm going to start really building a lot more military factories here. That'll be good. Oh, 15 things we can do. I know I'm trying to save up my political power, but... I thought we already expanded steelworks in the Midwest. Did we not? That's technology construction. Three. Oh, uh, maybe we did, but we have so much that we're extracting already that with free trade it really doesn't affect us that much maybe perhaps uh, we're still looking pretty darn good here unfortunately these ships take forever to build 1940 36 I don't believe this that we can really upgrade our heavy cruiser anymore at the moment yeah yeah I don't think we can that's totally fine with me though that's totally okay. We are almost maxed out in terms of naval experience. So, you know what? I'm going to tell my subs to hang on, hold out, select all, and stop training, and go hold. So we don't have to repair as much. Holding position, and repair now. Well, which means some people will repair, some people won't. It's over 8 out of 8. Oh yeah, we also want to produce medium tanks. Produce two of those. We'll start a slow production of tanks. How is Europe looking? Europe is not burning yet, but it is looking a little terrifying, I bet. Well, yeah, with Axis, Germany, Italy, Hungary, Slovakia, or Poland. You know what I don't like about the factions button now? It used to be where you could see everyone and their allies, you know, who's in a faction, but now everyone's grayed out. I don't like this. I preferred the white color. Yeah, I know some factions were actually, you know, white, had white backgrounds, but this makes it look just a little more disgusting. I wish it was like white would be like generic. And you could have like green as a faction color, you know, yellow, blue, just not white as a background. Leave white as a color for neutral nations. I think that would be great. So of course we're gonna go with partial mobilization. So now we have even more factories to play with. Yes please. Uh yeah I'm gonna continually build more civilian factories. But and this is a huge but Oh, yeah, we got a lot of civilian factories now. 50, 50, 60. We'll make Detroit great again. Yeah, make Detroit, make Michigan great again. Well, I guess technically this will make Michigan great. Oh, representative speaks passionately in support of the government. Thank you. Oh, we have a few extra naval dockyards. Great. So we've got a destroyer operating here, making another fleet, basically, for us. Uh, you might as well combine, for now. So we've got that. We are making a heavy heavy ships here as well with heavy cruisers, which I hope are good enough. They should be good enough with the new meta. We're making carrier hulls in one group. I think... Oh, wait, we're making two. Oh, we're making two. You know what? I'm going to add the next carrier hull to Washington. Because that's still considered a heavy ship. Yes. So that'll be in Washington... While this other carrier is focusing on the Atlantic Fleet. Actually. Yeah, this one will join the, the patrolling fleet. 
Even though technically we need, need, do need a strike force over there. Huh. We could create another strike force in the Atlantic. Hmm. Would that be good? Would that be good for us? Another strike force? A small strike force. It wouldn't be very strong. Or I guess very big. It will be very strong. I kind of like that. You know what? Instead of doing... You know, you'll do this. Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll convert this. This will be... We will use this group to start the strike force in the Atlantic. This will continue to join various fleets over here. Because they'll need that, because they will definitely patrol. So we'll put you guys somewhere in the East Coast. Not California. No, that's not the East Coast. We'll put you in Virginia. And actually, I want to strike force as fast as possible here in the Atlantic. So you know what? No, no, no. We'll keep this as patrols. Because this is going to the United States Fleet Task 14. Under 14, 14, 14, 14. Under this guy, so they'll get a new carrier, which will help protect and patrol. Yeah, this is this is not bad. And then this guy will help produce some carriers as a new strike force over here. Alright, cool. So that means we're probably going to need another destroyer group that's going to be based in Virginia as well. So that... that Carrier has some sort of screen. I like that. Alright, sorry. I'm just trying to make sure that my naval meta is up to speed and matching what I want. Can be a little... Mm, a, not aggressive, but a little confusing. Alright, let's go ahead and repair since we don't really need to build stuff up anymore. Repairing... Where's that? In Los Angeles. We're making some tanks. Good. When we make our own tank division. We don't have that much army XP, however. Ooh, Poland refuses German ultimatum. We have founded the two Ocean Navy Acts. We got even more dockyards now. Maritime Commission. Dockyard construction speed would be nice. Bureau of Ships. We can really produce quite a bit more uh, goods in terms of ships. Fund the Navy for Naval Doctrine. Intervention in Asia. War Plan Gray. Uh, let's see. Military construction. Shatter the Empire. No. Uh, U.S. Ace Projects. Construction, military construction. We get five more military factories, which we could really use now, so we'll do that. Awesome. And congressional support is very high still. Wow. Mend the budget. Well, we could lose a little bit more congressional support. Let's do this. I want just a tiny bit more congressional support. Well, Germany declared war in Poland. And... No congressional support so that I can use the next foci for something else or another event. And World War II has started. I don't have enough political power to send attaches, uh, send volunteers. We're not allowed to send volunteers. When do we start sending volunteers? Uh, industry and monarchism, federal housing, remove. Wait, this says. Remove national spirit, slow economic growth. Oh, I should have done that. God dang it. Neutrality Act. Oh, yeah, we won't get rid of that. Slow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's the next post I will do. We're going to get rid of slow economic growth. I should have done that earlier. I just didn't really realize that with the Federal Housing Act. Yeah, that was my fault. And we lost four senators. Whatever. So, intervention in Europe. Ooh, and one. Thompsons are done. We figured out how to make Tommy guns. We're a little late, but that's okay. 1939. Half tracks aren't. Oh, effects. A lot of things get more hardness, huh? Interesting. Marines would be good to build, actually, now. But we can wait a little bit. Naval doctrine, we're doing well on. We have enough air doctrine stuff to go ahead and do that. Not, sounds like a good idea. And we need more steel. We definitely need a lot more steel. You know, I'm going to help su support France as well. And then over here, M1 grants, even though we will produce more M1 grants anyways. I don't know why we would have to get rid of those. That's good. That's good. You're good. You're good. Uh, dockyards, most definitely. All right. And of course, I know I'm grinding out more naval XP, even though we are pretty much full of naval XP at the moment, but whatever. 
I don't think anyone's really going to attack me anytime soon, but you know what? The United States thought that too on December 7th, 1941. Ooh, floating airfield, nice. Organization, more for carriers are good, sort of efficiency is better. And, well, you know what? We'll just keep doing this. And we've used up 100 more naval experience, so that's not too bad. We get 0.861 a day. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Warsaw is quickly falling. And Warsaw has fallen. Oh, Italy is also fighting France, and they've made some gains. France, you better hold out, okay? You better hold out. We got almost no manpower, oh god. Italy, not bad. Not bad. The UK, hopefully the UK can destroy a lot of the German Navy before I get there, but you know what, they probably won't. They probably won't be able to. 1939... I want to do more support company stuff, but we have so much naval XP that it'd be a waste not to use it now. 96 days for a better anti-sub mortars. We will need that, it only takes 96 days, that's not bad. Luxembourg joined the Allies, that's... Okay, Luxembourg got Bitburg. Super Heavy Battleship 1, awesome. Uh, well... If I can research some of this stuff beforehand, but, uh... If I could use the time now to upgrade my ships, I mean, we're not going to be at war for a while, so I mean, we could wait maybe a little bit. Let's get some better logistic companies because I will definitely use those to the greatest effect I possibly can. We'll do that. Excavation, awesome. I mean, we do have nine, or nine, oh god, no, we have got six research slots. Fuel per gain, engineering. Uh, it's not bad. About a year for atomic research, that's not bad. We got six research slots, like I said. Go ahead and do this. I need more steel. I, oh, well, maybe not. Uh, yeah. Be good. That'd be good. Not bad, not bad. Military construction. France, you just don't lose. And Germany is going towards the Benelux, even though it's only October 1939. For the love of God, Netherlands, please hold out. You got a focus tree. You should be able to hold out now, right? Okay, never mind. They just took a city. What are we not producing? Oh, oh we don't have motorized? Oh, God. That's not good. Uh, do three for that. Slowly building more things up. Yeah, we're definitely going... Oh, and Germany declared war on Belgium. Yeah, we're definitely producing a lot of military factories now. We have to have more military factories. We must become what people might call an arsenal. An arsenal of some sort of democratic republic? Democracy? Something like that. Oh my gosh, Italy's pushing in quite a bit over the mountains. Oh Jesus Christ. Don't lose Rotterdam. France, I hope you're ready to fight. <laughs> oh, they've lost Liège. Oh, this is not good. German interest is getting... Germany! You're not even done in the Benelux. Why are you going to war with the Nor Norwegians now? Oh, war propaganda. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? we definitely want war propaganda to get more weekly war support. Uh, offer docking rights? Allow their navy to resupply our ports? Uh, I mean, I guess. If the UK needs some more docking rights, because they'll probably get blown up. And they've declared war on them. Alright. Well, just to help them out as much as we can, and free civilian factories, we need a ton of military factories. Holy cow. 50, yeah, yeah, 50, yeah, yeah. Good. Because I think we have enough civilian factories for now. We almost have 200. Now we have 199. Not bad. Well, Germany is on a steamroll right now. With Italy doing fairly okay down here in the mountainous regions. Oh, oh my! France, what are you doing? Oh no! Oh, oh god, this is so historical. Even though it's only almost November. Oh my gosh. And there's nothing we can do. Oh, a representative speaks passionately in support of the government. Great. Military construction. Awesome. We got five more military factories and three more infrastructure. Oh my gosh. What do we want to do? I forget. Actually, this is not too bad. Uh, military factories and much more military XP. Oh, Federal Housing Act. Yes, we have to do Federal Housing Act. Oh, good. More military factories. Good. Good, good, good. I'll increase you by one, and then I'm going to increase this by a little bit, but then I'm going to just max this out. 
We're gonna need a lot of artillery, everyone. A ton of artillery. Because, oh my gosh, France. Oh, France just fell early November and France is dead? Holy crap. And sorry, France, since you're not giving me as much as I would like, I gotta switch them up. France, you know, I'll support you though with rubber. And maybe a little bit of steel from, like, Soviets. That will be pretty good. Well, this episode has definitely gone interestingly. Very interestingly. We're out of infantry, infantry equipment, motorized, but we are doing pretty well on those guys. Now, before we're done here, let us I just want to show you, or at least tell you, that I am going to start making some medium tanks. It'll take quite a while. And actually, I don't have enough XP to make a proper medium 40 width tank division. Crud. I need a lot more army XP, which we're not really getting a day, so let's just make one, do that, and that's pretty much where we're going to leave it at, leave it at, at the moment. I mean, if I can support the UK, that would be great. Offer military access, request like, yeah, there's really nothing I can do to help them out. So, either way, we've gone on long enough. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Germany is pretty much on a steamroll. And we're just here sitting, grinding more naval XP, really looking at how our ships are doing, trying to adjust them to the best of our abilities. Wow, that's actually not too bad. You guys really do need to train. But regardless, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, I will see you tomorrow as we watch Germany probably steamroll more of Europe. Thanks for watching.